Hello, my name is Kristen Lee Wong and I'm a painter, illustrator, and diligent curmudgeon. I grew up in a very like art and literature friendly household. The first drawing I ever made, I remember I was about three and I drew some fish at a fish food barbecue and my mom saved the drawing. My art is inspired by whatever is happening to me and whatever I'm interested in at that time that I'm making it. I deal with my insecurity in my work in two different ways. I deal with it by making hyper-aggressive, hyper-strong, powerful women and, and they're everything that I wish I was. And then sometimes I do make pieces about vulnerability because we all have those. So I, I do think it's important to reflect on that in my work. I have a lot of like projects that are dream projects for me. I would love to design a functioning fountain. I would love to do all the set design and costumes for like an opera. This sounds like insane and madly egotistical, but everyone wants the MoMA retrospective. You know, like you want to have like the retrospective that like means your life's work was for something. So ideally that would be my end goal and it can happen either when I'm alive or when I'm dead. I was watching this documentary on Elizabeth Murray before 2008 or something. There had been only five female artists who had been given a MoMA retrospective. So like my odds don't seem very good, <laughs> you know, it's, it's always when like she got her retrospective like the year before she died or something, you know, so like you just got to keep on focusing on the work. I love learning about different cultures and I love seeing the ways in which all different cultures from all over the world are connected and I think in that it's very like, I, I get my comfort from that, that there's something that can be, that you can find in every single culture that connects to you no matter where you're from. I was raised Catholic, but I don't really believe in God. I don't believe in an afterlife necessarily. I, I, all I know is that I don't know what happens after we die. I feel like art has kind of replaced religion for me and that it is timeless and that it can pass down from gener generation to generation and it can speak to different generations like far in the future like the same issues we were having 500 years ago like we're still having like you know like today so I think in that way it's it's really cool to, to look at old art and just like feel this human human connection this human experience that's universal